Hi guys, so I'm back again. I'm just done doing all my laundry and I will go out to meet Nazira and we'll finally go to Technodome and buy the camera that I've been wanting to buy. So let's go out. <laughs> I took a video. <laughs> Can we go to the comfort room first? Where? To the toilet? Yes. <laughs> finished eating and buying the camera we are going back home and we are going again to the bus stop we just got out of the bus and do you see how happy I am yes yeah. oh <laughs> guys I am so tired I think we will do the review tomorrow okay bye Hello again everyone! Good morning! So we already have here our camera and it's free! <laughs> Hello again everyone! So we are here again and good morning! We have already our camera here and I will show you as well the freebie! freebie. Hello again everyone! So we already have here our camera so we will unbox it already even though it's already unboxed because we bought it yesterday so first we have here our camera the Canon M10 EOS and uh, I will also discuss this one this is only the free and I'm so happy that I got a freebie and I will talk about both of them one by one. Let's first unbox our Canon EOS M10. Upon opening the box, you can see these manuals. This is a pretty thick manual. And then we also have here the Canon warranty form where the terms and conditions of the warranty are written. And then we have the warranty form this is very important you don't want to lose this one and we also have the thinner manual let's move on to the items that we can see from the package the first thing that i want to show you is the body camera it's color black i actually chose color black because my best friend shout out to mary Mica c palumba she says that black is better because she has a white version of the Canon EOS and she says that the white version easily gets dirty and I'm happy with this color actually I don't have the chance to choose any color whether it's black or white because this is the, the one and only camera Canon EOS M10 of the shop I went to yesterday so together with the body camera, it has also a cap on it so that it wouldn't get dirty. And then moving on, next we have here the battery pack LPE12. 
with terminal cover with it. Next, we have the battery charger LC-E12E together with its cord here. Next, we have the camera neck strap cord, USB cord. If you like to transfer your files from your camera to your laptop, but I guess you wouldn't be needing this because you already have the mobile app or laptop app where you can just turn on the Wi-Fi of the camera and it already automatically sends your files to your laptop computer or also your mobile phone. Lastly, I want to show to you the lens that comes with a package it is 15 to 45 mm image stabilizer but the great thing about this camera is that if you don't like the lens that comes with it you can actually purchase another lens and just put them together with the bad body camera let's talk about the camera further so the first thing that you want to do if you like to try these out is to go get the battery pack Pop it into the charger and plug it in to a power outlet and this lamp will turn orange when the charging begins and when it becomes green, the charging is already finished. After that, insert the battery into your camera. Then the next thing that you want to do is to go get an SD card. When I purchased this camera, unfortunately, it did not come with an SD card. Thankfully, I have one. I bought this from the Philippines. This is supposed to be for my Xiaomi Ecom, but since we have a new camera, we might as well use this SD card. If you're wondering if we can use a micro SD for Canon EOS M10, definitely yes, as long as you have an adapter with you. And you make sure guys that it is unlocked. So just open the cover of the memory card slot and put it inside. Next, let's set up the lens. So first you have to remove the cover of the body cap and the lens cap. Then align the mount indexes so you will see white dots here. You have to align them together. And then turn the lens into this direction until you hear the ticking sound. After that, remove the cover and turn it on. You just have to tap this button over here. And it says here, set the lens to the shooting position. So what you have to do is to set the lens by holding this retraction switch towards this position and then turn the zoom ring a little into that direction. So let's do that. So push it there. And they're already good to go. So you can zoom it here and zoom it out and continue to zoom right until you hear the ticking sound. We've already done that and yeah, you can actually manage your camera using the screen because it is touch screen and there are also buttons on the side. And there you go, you're already ready for shooting. Basically, it is very easy to use this camera. We have the menu button here, on off button. If you like to take photos, you have to tap this button here, but there is also a separate button for video, which is very comfortable and convenient to use. And 
here is the pre preview and we have here the microphone speakers battery slot memory card slot and here we have the HDMI or USB port and on this side you can also see the flash so you just have to hit that switch and your flash pops out and you want to be careful putting it back in and what is good about this camera is that the screen is touch screen you can touch the screen if you like to focus on something and you can actually flip it to see yourself if you're taking selfies and also this is this is a great camera for vloggers because you can see yourself on the viewfinder so when turning this off all you have to do is to push the turn on off button and then retract the lens again so basically we're just doing whatever we did earlier and then flip back the cover and there is a button here you want to press that and then turn this lens into this position and it's already done put the body cap quickly because you don't like to have dust into your camera so basically that's it so the next thing that we will unbox is our Canon Connect Station CS100. This is only free and you can connect HDMI. It is Dolby Digital. It is Wi-Fi certified. And what is this Connect Station CS100? Well, this is a device this is actually a hard drive it may contain files up to one terabyte and what you want to do is to just place your camera on top of this device and it will already download or transfer all the files that you have from your camera to this device even if you don't place it on top of this device, all you have to do is just to turn on the Wi-Fi of the camera. It will already transfer the files. So, if we look here, this device may connect to your mobile phone, laptop, tablet. You can also use HDMI and project the files that you have directly to your TV screen and also print them out. So let's open this box and see what it contains. So we have again <laughs> thick manuals. We have here our warranty form. The cord. It has also battery here. I can't open. Oh my. Okay, so you have two triple A's on the remote control. On the remote control, it has home button, on off power button, and then we have here the set back and the menu. This is the adapter and the main device is this one. So it looks like this. There is also SD card slot and also CF card slot. And then here you can connect HDMI, also USB port, 
yeah i will not be needing this actually because i already downloaded the canon app on my mobile phone so if i like to transfer my files from my camera to my mobile phone it'll just be easy all i have to do is to turn on my wi-fi so maybe i could i could just give it to my brother in the philippines when what are my i go final back thoughts home? about the products that i purchased so first I will talk about the Canon EOS M10. There are five reasons why I like it so much. So first is that it's very handy. I can just put it into my bag and I'm good to go. Second, it is light, unlike the heavy DSLRs. This is pretty much very comfortable to use. I'm actually planning to use my Yi pole. I will just mount this camera onto my Yipple and start vlogging. Fourth, this is a cheap camera compared to other vlogging cameras out there. And the great catch about this one is that it has flip screen. I was actually planning to buy the Sony G7X or the Sony G7X Mark II, but they were more expensive than this one. So if you are having a tight budget but still like to have a camera, a vlogging camera, which is good, I would advise you to buy Canon EOS M10. And lastly, great thing about this camera is that you can change the lens. So if you don't like the 18 to 45, uh, 15 to 45 image stabilizer lens, you can go buy, purchase a bigger one. So I already said the pros, what about the cons? So the first con that I thought was if you're lazy and you saw something beautiful and you want to capture it immediately, then you can use this camera but you have to assemble it all over again. And if you like an immediate or a snap of camera right away, this might not work for you because you again you have to assemble it first second one is the auto auto focus that is the greatest pitfall of this one i i am um, i wish the canon company will do something about it i test i test this camera for like two hours and i keep on tapping the screen so that the screen or the lens will focus on the subject I like it to be focused on but seems like you have to do it multiple times before it gets focused and I also use this for vlogging and I find that sometimes my face is out of focus so yeah you have to be patient if you like to focus on something that you like but overall this is a very good cam cheap handy also flip screen the speaker is also very good and i would advise you to buy canon eos m10 even though it's already 2019 i think this is still a very good product second is this canon um cs100 well i would say it is very great product if you like to project your files from your camera to this one to your TV screen or if you like to print out your files. However, I would like to repeat that we already have mobile app, Canon mobile app, so you may not be needing this anymore unless you like it to have as your hard drive storage for you to store your files and videos and it's good that it's one terabyte but um, yeah i think no i will not use need this one i will just give it to my brother in the philippines because he's a very techy person i think he might do something with this one but this one i really love this so much yeah so let's try this camera Maybe I'll go outside later, but let's see the difference. You, you.
<laughs> judge whether my Oppo F1s is better or this one. Yeah, so we are back, guys. So can you tell? Can you tell the difference? I already switched to our Canon EOS M10, and we will try to take videos outside and see. But so far, this is how it looks if it's in the selfie mode. Hmm. Okay. So I'm in my room. Let's just go to the balcony and see if it will work. Oh, there is light snow outside. Let's test the zoom. That's all this video is all about. So if you like this video, hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so that you'll be notified whenever I upload new videos. And before I go, shout out to my previous students, Ali, Shayna Diaza, and Sherwin Camacho, and Dean Saturnino. So see you again. It's just me, Donna, and goodbye.